Since the beginning of time, water has been an essential resource for living organisms. The human body can go weeks without food, but will shut down in a mere three days without water. The human body is 65% water, and water covers 71% of the Earth's surface. Despite the abundance of water and the essential need of living organisms, unfortunately, 69% of Earth's fresh water is frozen in glaciers and polar ice caps. Over the generations, water consumption of humans has increased dramatically. Between 1972 and 1996, Canada's water withdrawal rate increased by approximately 90%. Canada possesses about 7% of the world's renewable water supply. Wastewater is filtered in order to accommodate the increasing need of water resources, which can become costly. In addition to this, much of the water supply is abused and wasted. According to Environment Canada, up to 30% of the water supply entering systems is wasted in pipe leakage. In the home, approximately 65% of water usage comes from showers and toilet flushing. The WaterWise competition is a national case study geared towards students of all disciplines in an effort to devise a method to conserve water consumption at the university. The approach taken by Carleton University WaterWise team was to run an audit on the Tory building as it consumes the most water on campus. In addition, even throughout the holidays and summertime, when there are less students, the water consumption of the Tory building has stayed constant, which does not match the pattern of water consumption for other buildings on campus. Each floor of the building was checked for laboratories, washrooms, and fountains, and the corresponding water consumption and model was recorded in order to extrapolate data for current usage. Next, the cost of replacing the high consumption items was calculated, as well as the savings that the economic products would provide. Our main concern in this case study was to save water in the most efficient way. Our hypothesis is that the older buildings such as Tory use technology that is outdated and that consumes more water. If the older technology were to be replaced with newer technology, more economic alternatives, there would be substantial savings. Initially, where and why the water was being consumed was determined by performing a water audit. This allowed us to estimate the current water consumption from the building as a whole. Every machine or device that provides water to the consumer was checked and flow rate was estimated or calculated. In order to brainstorm ideas to reduce water consumption, the newer buildings with economical washrooms, fountains and devices were explored. Lastly, the current water consumption and the water consumption of the economical devices were implemented and compared. The investment required and the savings per annum in the payback period was determined. It was found that replacing the old faucets, washing machines, and urinals with more economical alternatives would result in savings of $7,500 per year, with an initial investment of $34,000. This yields a payback time of 4.7 years.